Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Ethernet unidentified network problem on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So whenever you are trying to connect to your Ethernet connection, you get an error message of unidentified network. I won't be discussing the causes, so let's move with the solution. And the very first thing that you should try is running the network troubleshooter. On your Windows 10 or Windows 11 search box, type trouble and from the suggestion choose troubleshoot settings the troubleshoot option will be up and below that you will find here additional troubleshooters click on it and now the very first option that you will find will be internet connection click on internet connection then run the troubleshooter now this will start detecting the problem and if there are any kind of issues it will let you know or probably it will automatically fix it so follow the instructions accordingly and in case if you get the same message like me then you can close it. Now you can run another troubleshooter for network adapter. Click on network adapter then run the troubleshooter. And this will now ask you that what kind of connection you want to troubleshoot. So you have to choose here Ethernet then click on next. Again this will start detecting the problem. It will find any then it will let you know or else this you will be getting the same message. Alright, so after running the troubleshooter, just follow the instructions given by the troubleshooter. Once you are done, check back if this fixes the problem and if not, then you have to try updating your network adapter. Just make a right click on your windows icon and choose device manager. Device manager box will be up. Here you have to look for network adapters. Double click on it and then you have to look for your ethernet. So the Ethernet probably starts with the Realtek PCI GBE family controller, something like this. You have to look for this, make a right click on it, then choose update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. If there are updates available, it will automatically update it. And if not, then you will get the same message. So if you get the update and it get updated, now you can check back that if this fix the problem. And if not, then you can also try uninstalling it. Just make a right click on it, choose uninstall device, then click on uninstall again. Your ethernet driver will be uninstalled. After that you need to make a restart and this driver will be automatically reinstalled. So that will be the fresh and the updated version. So after that, after restarting, check that if your issue has been resolved or not. And if not, no need to worry, we have a couple of more solutions. Just click on your search box, type CMD. Then click on run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Here we have to run few command that you will be getting the description. You can copy the command and paste in this black box. So the first command will be NETSH net INT INT then IP reset T colon back forward slash reset log dot txt then hit enter you just need to copy and paste here so you don't have to manually type once you hit enter it will ask you to restart the computer but we have to go with another command that will be again netsh winsock reset all this command you will be getting in the description hit enter then we have to finally go with the last command that is ip config forward slash flush dns okay so there are three commands that you will be getting in the description you need to run one by one and once done finally make a restart and go and check back that if the problem has been fixed or not i'm pretty sure this will be fixing your problem and if not the last thing that you also can try is enabling and disabling the network adapter okay so close everything click on your search box type here ncpa.cpl then click on ncpa cpl control panel item here you will see all the network connection network adapter you have to look for the ethernet make a right click on it go with disable once disable it will be grayed out wait for a few seconds again make a right click on it and choose enable after this this will again try to reconnect and i'm pretty sure your problem will be fixed so that's all guys hopefully all this solution will work for you and you will get a solution by 
after watching this video and if yes make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye bye